Hi, welcome to the Nine Malls review of the Magic Mesh. This is an as seen on TV product. It says, keep fresh air in and the bugs out. This is actually an interesting product if it actually works. I think it'll be very useful if you live in, in a, you know, like a state that has a lot of mosquitoes. Um, first, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. It's growing. My goal this year is 10,000 subscribers. And if you'd like to support it, go to patreon.com slash nine malls and uh, or just go to patreon.com um, and then just search for nine malls. But uh, Patreon's a great site and I hope you do that. And the first person that donates will actually get this product. So it's a great deal and you can donate from anything. I, I just went there today and I think it's actually a dollar you can donate, the minimum. Um, I think it's listed as two dollars, but you can actually donate a dollar. So, if you do that, just make a note, and you'll get the magic mesh. So that's kind of the promotion I have going on right now in all my videos. And so I'm just gonna go on the review. All right, uh, the magic mesh is the hands-free screen door. Instantly opens, powerful magnets. Easily walk through. Installs in seconds. No tool. Uh, no tools required. Great, great for pets too. And let's see, so let's just zoom out a little bit here. Alright, so it sets up in seconds, align the magnets, attach adhesive strips, affix the door frame, no tools required. Um, so the Magic Mesh hands-free screen door opens easily, then closes itself behind you using 18 powerful magnets. So. If your hands are full, you have a for or or have a forgetful family member, you can still let fresh air in and keep annoying bugs out. Goes up in seconds with no tools required and stays up all season long. Plus, it folds up for easy storage, magically closes, fits single doors, sliding doors, RVs, and more. So I'm gonna open it up. And we have our magic mesh. And we have our magnets. So I hope the install doesn't take too long. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on my front door. But uh, yeah, it's like a mesh material. Um, feels pretty quality. And then you have your, I guess these are the magnets. And they're just encased in plastic. So I'm gonna set it up on my front door because I think most people getting the magic mesh um, maybe a slider, but I, I can see this on your front door. That probably is the best test. So I'm going to do that right now, see if it actually works. I'm very excited to try it out. And like I said, I hope installation doesn't take too long. All right, so I don't know if you can see this on the video, but um, so the magnets are in the middle, and then um, you just kind of paste these little pieces of Velcro all onto the magic mesh, and then you um, attach the magic mesh to the velcro like so and the velcro actually works pretty well I'm gonna do it to the other side just so you can see it hanging um, I was actually impressed with the stickiness of the magic or the <laughs> the little velcro pieces right here right here can you see that uh, yeah so the back is really sticky and that's actually uh, was surprising because a lot of times Things that they'll say will stick don't actually stick, but these actually stick really well. It fits the door perfectly. And let's just put a couple more on. Um, it gives you, I'll, I'll show you in the camera, it gives you a bunch of these tacks right here. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Alright, focus camera. But yeah, so these tacks are sharp, very sharp. And they actually want you to, you know, you stick it on the sides for the magic mesh. I'm not going to do that. I mean, it says no installation. And I kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of misleading because there is a slight bit of installation. I mean, if you have tacks, I don't think, I, don't, I think most people won't, don't want to put tacks in their uh, door frame. But, you know, maybe you will. I mean, if I guess it's a mosquito problem was bad enough you wouldn't really mind doing that so there we go all right and 
let's just put it right here. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Um, just to show you how kind of long it will take to put up the magic mesh. I'm not going to do it completely. I'm just going to get it to where it's functional. Um, like I said, because I don't want to get taxed with my door frame. All right, so maybe we can put a couple on. I'm just going to do that, and I'll get back to you. All right, so here's the finale of the, the Magic Mesh uh, test. The Velcro is placed right here, right here, right here, right here, and at the bottom. So um, you can put more. You can put tacks on the side. I wish they would have put kind of Velcro all around because then it's, you know, it's a temporary thing. Uh, that didn't work right there. I think I'm going to get, get the uh, other side of the Velcro. Yeah, remember there's two sides of the Velcro and you got to match up the sides. So there we go. There's the sticky side. So uh, this is a good test to see if it actually works. All right, so here we go. So like, uh, <laughs> that's the wrong side of the Velcro. That's funny. All right, we gotta get, we gotta fix this to get a legitimate test here. All right, gotta figure out how Velcro works. All right, so here we go. So the magnets are in the middle. They say these are powerful magnets. Um, they really aren't too powerful. Um, they do stick. And they stick enough that they will come back together. But if you live in an area, like, I was just in, uh, you know, near Whistler, BC, and I was at a campsite, and the mosquitoes would swarm, and any opening they would come in. So this would have to be sealed with duct tape. If you live in an area where mosquitoes are present, you know, like to the extent of where they swarm. So there's kind of like openings. It doesn't completely seal it. Uh, it will keep out some bugs, but just that alone, if you truly live in an area that has mosquitoes, you're not going to be happy with this product. So you open it up. Um, the bottom is stuck, and it kind of comes off. Okay, so the Magic Mesh is installed on the outside. Uh, the thing I ran into was um, the Magic Mesh kept falling down, so you're definitely going to want to use the tacks that are provided with the Magic Mesh, or else uh, the sticky things will fall off. It's just too much weight for it. I think this is a product that if you are in a pinch, um, it might come in handy keeping out some of the bugs it's not a hundred percent you know it doesn't seal a hundred percent so I think um, like I said if you're in an area that has tons of bugs it's not going to be a hundred percent good solution all right so I'm gonna walk through it and test it out and see how it works So as you can see, the magnets do come back together um, with a little help. They're definitely not powerful magnets. They're not like, I don't know if you ever used earth magnets. They're definitely not on that level. They do come back with a little help, but I don't know if you can see, um, you know, it's not sealing. So there we go. And I'm just going to just let you look at that. It's not sealing 100%. And I'm going to walk through it one more time and see how it works.
All right, so that time it did seal up pretty well. You can see, I'll show you that. Um, it did seal up a lot better that time. All right, I'm gonna open up the door. This is something that I thought maybe I could use permanently. Um, it's just not working out. It's not quite up to the level of what I was thinking it would be. Um, so I'm gonna take it down and um, All right, so that's coming down and it will not be up on my house. I'm gonna give it to you guys. So if you guys want it, um, go for it. I'm gonna zoom out here. And just to give you the final verdict on this product. Um, so do I recommend the Magic Mesh? The answer is I'm on the fence with this one because I think it will work um, with some tacks and definitely some uh, duct tape. But if you're in an area where that just is overrun with bugs, this will not, I don't think you'll be happy with it without duct tape or whatever. So um, I'm kind of on the fence because I think it does what they say it's going to do, but to a certain point. So if you can find it for, I would say $10 or less, I say go for it. If not, uh, pass. Um, I think it would be good for if you're in a cabin or something like that. Something not permanent. You don't have any other solution. You can't think of any other way. Uh, then I would go for it. So um, if you'd like to um, get this product, go to patreon.com slash nine malls or just search Patreon for nine malls. And the first person to donate gets this product. Just make a note. And also please subscribe to my channel. And once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.